In this video, I'm going to show you how I customize the frontal hairline to make it look absolutely natural. Let's actually get into customizing the frontal. So first I'm going to analyze my wig. If you see my wig here, you can tell that it's a long straight wig. So they're quite heavy, there's no layers, which means my baby hairs are going to be straight because it's a straight hair. The density is heavy, which means I should go for a narrow parting. My natural hairline has a widow's peak, which means I'll try and mimic the widow's peak and add that onto this frontal so it's easier for me to lay this frontal on my natural hairline. All right, so this is the natural hairline of the frontal that came with. It's very dense all the way to the front, which means I'm going to have to thin it out. I'm going to take one quarter of a section and tweeze some, a little hair actually, out. Try and pick the hairs from the roots so you don't leave any brown knots out. Next step, I'm going to take another one quarter section and start tweezing short lines of bald spots. So I'm going to create bald spots, guys. Okay, it's natural to have bald spots. Now for the middle parting, I'm not going to touch it because it's already quite narrow, which is perfect. It makes sense because the hair is dense. This is the untweezed side and this is the tweezed side. I'm pretty sure you guys can tell the difference. Much more natural. And here's the result. You can tell I have straight baby hairs and some bald spots going on. In the next video, I'll be showing you how to customize closures slash frontals specifically for curly hair. Thank you. Bye.